Mm. Hello, hola, it's me again. Here we're going to read a mother for Choco, which is this little bird here. And I'm hoping I didn't butcher his name. It says, you see him right here? It says, Choco was a little bird who lived all alone. He wished he had a mother, but who could his mother be? One day, he set off to find her. Going on an adventure. Oh, a giraffe. First, Choco and Mrs. Giraffe. Oh, met Mrs. Giraffe. Oh, Mrs. Giraffe, he cried. You are yellow just like me. Are you my mother? I'm sorry, sighed Mrs. Giraffe. But I don't have wings like you. He, he's got wings and she doesn't. But they are yellow. And so next, Choco met Mrs. Penguin. Oh, Miss Penguin, he cried. You have wings just like me. Are you my mother? I'm sorry, sighed Miss Penguin. But I don't have big round cheeks like you. You see, he's got big cheeks. And she has little cheeks. Then Choco met Mrs. Walrus. Oh, Mrs. Walrus, he cried. You have big round cheeks just like me. Are you my mother? Now look, grumbled Mrs. Walrus. I don't have striped feet like you. You, so don't bother me. You see, he's got stripes on his feet. And she's grumpy. Next, oh, no matter where Choco uh, searched, he couldn't find a mother who looked just like him. Oh, you see how sad he is? Choco looks sad. Bless his heart. Where, <clears throat> when Choco saw Mrs. Bear picking apples, he knew she couldn't be his mother. Mrs. Bear didn't look like him at all. See, she's brown and has fur and no feathers and wings like Choco. Uh, Choco was so sad, he stared, uh, started to cry. Mommy, mommy, I need a mommy. Mrs. Bear came uh, running to see what was the matter as she Listen to Choco's story. She sighed. Oh dear. If you had a mommy, what would she do? You see, she was trying to take care of him. Oh, I I'm sure she would hold me, sobbed Choco. Like this? Asked Mrs. Bear. See, she's holding him. She held Choco very tight. She gave him a big hug. Yes, and I'm sure she would kiss me too, said Choco. Like this, asked Mrs. Bear. She lifted Choco and gave him a big kiss. You see? A big kiss right there on the cheek. Yes, and I'm sure she would sing and dance with me to cheer me up, said Choco. Like this, asked Mrs. Bear. And they sang and danced together. Oh, isn't that sweet? And she's wearing a bag on her head, too. Do y'all notice that? Not sure what that's for. When they stopped to rest, Mrs. Bear turned to Choco and said, Choco, maybe I could be your mother. You? Choco cried. But you aren't yellow and you don't have wings. Or big round cheeks or striped feet like me. My goodness, said Mrs. Bear. Well, that would make me look very funny. Choco thought it was funny too. Can you see? Look at Mrs. Bear with the wings and the striped feet and the big cheeks. That's pretty funny. It says, well, said Mrs. Bear, my other children are waiting for me at home. Why don't you join us for apple pie, Choco? Apple pie sounded wonderful, Choco, um, to Choco, so off they went.
See, they're going to get some pie. And when they arrived, Mrs. Bear's other children rushed out to greet them. Choco said, Mrs. Bear, meet Hippie, Allie, and Piggy. I am their mother, too. You see them? There's Hippie and Allie and Piggy over here. It says, they <clears throat> the sweet smell of apple pie and the sound of laughter soon filled Mrs. Bear's home. Oh, they're all playing together. How sweet. So after their delicious treat, Mrs. Bear gave all the children a big warm bear hug. And Choco was very happy that his new mommy looked just the way she did. Oh, the end. All right. See you guys next time.